Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel in Smart Coding. In this video, I'm going to talk about the API management. So this is a part of AZ204 certification and it's one of the important thing that you should be aware of if you're learning towards the Azure cloud. All right, come, let's dive in. So this is a part one and I'm going to talk about the, the API management and some more details. And also in the upcoming videos, I will demo with a live example and you'll understand more. So what is Azure API management? Basically, it's an Azure service to create a consistent and modern API gateways for the existing backend services. Okay, so if we have many APIs which is supporting the backend, so Azure API management will stand in front of those backend services. Okay, we will see. It provides secure, scalable API access for your applications. So now uh, we will take a look at the Azure API management components. So basically there are three components, API Gateway, Azure Portal, and Developer Portal. API Gateway accepts the API calls and routes them to the backend, okay? But for the Azure Portal, it's basically the administrative interface where you set up all your API programs for the API management. And obviously Developer Portal is for the consumers, like for the developers who wants to consume the API that you are hosting behind the API management. So web users interfaces for developers where they can read the API documentation and, and also they can see whether they want to opt it or not. So the diagram that you're seeing on screen is one of the example. So there are basically client apps and then the next piece will be the API management. And API management will face the client app. So all the requests will come to API management and API management will decide where to route the incoming requests to which API, right? So that's why we call it as service one, service two. It could be like 100 service also, okay? So this API management will handle all those things. And eventually the, the API that is hosted, which is receiving the request, will process the request and send back the response, okay? So this is the front line uh, kind of thing. So this is another uh, typical example. So basically your web application interacts with the API gateway and then API gateway will eventually forward the request to the backend APIs and then backend API will do its process and then finally return with the response data. So let's take a look at uh, the API gateway capabilities, okay? So we, it, it accepts the API calls and then route them to the backend. That, that is what we discussed. And then it also can verify the API keys and then it can reject the request. It can also verify the JWT token uh, in the starting of the API management, meaning in the in the front end itself, it can it can actually verify it. It, it you don't need to have this uh, JWT token getting verified by your API API management, which is API gateway itself can verify. It can verify the certificates and can verify other credentials as well. It can also enforce this usage quotas and rate limit, right? Uh, how many requests per second is coming, or how many is allowed or for a given customer or a client totally what is the consumption plan they have used so if it goes beyond such request you know it can actually stop them and then um, we will see all these things in the demo but uh, let's understand a few more things so it can also catch us the back-end response the cache mechanism is also present which will help us to speed up the request response we don't need to always talk to the backend if the response is going to be the same with right? the static data like we see the categories and you know those things generally don't change so frequently so we can set up how long the cache has to be there and then you know it can respond immediately so those are a, a few of the capabilities that i was uh, discussing with you guys and then we will see more as we go in the demo now if we have to talk about something on the Azure portal capabilities, basically the Azure portal itself, right? So it can define or import an API schema. It can also set up the policies like quotas and then transform the API uh, you know, content like XML to JSON, JSON to XML and many policies are there. So basically you can set up the policies that are needed as per the need. It can also package the APIs into products. It can manage users and many more. So what are developers portal capabilities then? So developers portal is kind of you and me, right? Who wanted to consume the API. So we can, uh, as a developer, uh, what do you expect? So the developer portal will expose all these things. It can read the uh, the documentation, the API documentation. It can create an account and subscribe to get an API key, right? Uh, there could be many APIs which is deployed behind the API management. You might be interested only in particular services, like the address service, address lookup service or something. So you can actually get subscribed to a particular product and get the API keys to access those APIs. 
And then you can also try it out uh, an API via the interface console itself uh, from the developers portal, which will also uh, I will demo it shortly. And then you can you can also access the analytics and so many other. There are more on the versions, so you can version the APIs and then you can do a revisions. Version is basically breaking changes from one API to another API. But revisions are very slightly, uh, you know, some modifications done, but it is not going to break the client. All right, enough theory. Come, let's uh, dive into the actions. Thanks for watching. If you like my video, don't forget to subscribe my channel, like it, share it, comment it, and never forget to click on the bell icon.